Here at the Technological Center of uh, LATAD, we are dealing with different kind of technologies that goes from environmental, system, system uh, biology, and environmental, and also with biosensing. Biosensing has uh, created just a few years ago, and it's made up different from people from different technologies, from uh, different disciplines, knowledge with different knowledge backgrounds, coming from nanotechnology, people from uh, engineering that will develop the systems that will read out the uh, electrodes and the biosensors. There are also people coming from biochemistry and people from biology, molecular biology, who will provide the uh, reagents necessary for the detection of the biomarkers. And all together, we create a system able to detect in an easy way, in a cost-efficient and quite reliable uh, devices able to measure biomarkers that could be relevant for a certain health disease. On this framework, we have developed different kind of electrodes that are measuring, for instance, uh, the level of stress uh, measured in a, in a saliva sample that the system, the biosensor, was created in order to measure the cortisol using uh, monoclonal antibodies that will capture the cortisol present in a saliva sample, and then we have the readout into a meaningful for the medical doctor to understand if the levels of this hormone are high or are low. Another kind of project we have developed is just to understand and to know which is if the immune system has been developed a response against a certain pathogen. We can measure the vaccine response, the immune response against a certain vaccination using a quite similar uh, system for the detection of this uh, antibody generated after the vaccination, we can know if one vaccine has been effective or requires a second shoot or requires another boost to be protected against certain infection. Quite similar way than before, we have created this kind of electrode that it's disposable, single use, and it requires just a small drop of blood that just place it on the top of the biosensor, and then this biosensor produces the reaction, recognizing the antibody generated for the vaccine into the system, and then a reader, external reader, can be uh, converts the electrical signal or the spectrophotometric signal or other kind of signal into a meaningful, into concentration. And then the decision can be taken based on this kind of uh, uh, information provided. Nowadays, we are just shifting with different technologies using photonics, for instance, electrochemical uh, approaches, and also for respect of photometric. Now we are ready to be able to measure different kind of biomarkers, different kind of proteins. Also, we can measuring, we're trying to measure bacterial infection directly with, without necessity of have a huge equipment and without the necessity of have a huge investment. But that means we are going to have a technology which is cheap, reliable, easy to develop, and with an with a easy market entry, and we can reach the patients and the medical doctors in order to improve the health status of the citizens.